Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to interact with the DS3231 from an ASP8266. The DS3231 is a low-cost, real-time clock from Maxim Integrated. A real-time clock is a device built for accurate timekeeping, so we can access the current time and date from an external microcontroller and obtain values with a great precision. In order to make the hardware connections easier, we are going to use a real-time clock integrated in an electronic board. Uh, this kind of board can be bought at eBay for less than 1 euro. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can uh, buy one if you want. Uh, as an add-on, uh, this board al already has a support for a, ba a backup battery, which means that if the main power supply uh, is lost, your device can still, uh, um, can still do the timekeeping. So, in order to start programming, uh, we just need to open our uh, Arduino development environment. To make uh, things easier, we are going to use the DS3231 library, which will uh, hide from us the implementation details of the communication protocol, and we are just going to need to call some uh, methods of some libraries, uh, of some uh, classes. Uh, so, uh, you just need to put the S3231 in the search box in the library manager and install the RTC library by Macuna. As you can see, uh, I have version 2.0.0 installed. So, uh, for the actual coding, we start by including the wire.h library, uh, which implements the I2C protocol functionalities for the Arduino environment, and in this case for the ASP8266. Uh, I2C is the protocol that we are going to use to interact with the real-time clock. Uh, you can check uh, at my blog how to wire both of the devices. It's very simple, but uh, you need to, to know the, the correct pins to use. Uh, then we need to include the RTC DS3231 library, so you get all the classes and methods needed to interact with the device. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to declare an object of class RTC DS3231, uh, which will be representing our uh, real-time clock. Uh, we have two ways of declaring it. The first one, which is commented, was the original way of declaring the object for version 1.0.1 of the library. Now with version uh, 2.0.0, the author introduced the concept of C++ templates. So the declaration is a little bit um, more complex and is like this, but we don't need to worry about these details. Um, and if you want, you may look a little bit about the C++ templates uh, at Google and you will see that this is a very interesting concept, uh, but we are not going to explain it here. So the first thing we need to do is in our setup function, um, open our serial connection so we can output the results of our program then on the previously declared object uh, our RTC object we are going to call the begin method that will start start the I2C connection so we can talk with our device then we are going to declare an object of class RTC date time uh, which will hold um, the current time and date so it's uh, our starting point for our RTC to start uh, maintaining time. Uh, in this case, I'm going to pass it some dummy values. Uh, the first argument of the constructor is the current year, then the current month, the current uh, day, current hour, current minute, and current, uh, current second. And uh, our uh, real-time clock will start counting time from here. Then, to transfer this uh, date and time for the RTC, we just call the setDateTime uh, method on our RTC object and pass uh, to, the, to the method uh, the current time structure we previously defined. So, and this ends our setup function. Now, in the main loop, uh, we are going to get uh, the current time and date. Uh, it will be a loop, so we are going to delay uh, one second uh, between each iteration so we can see the time uh, the timekeeping. So at the beginning of the loop we get the current uh, date and time so we call a method called getDateTime for our RTC object and this method will return an, uh, an object of the same structure we, we used before in the setup function and 
RTC date and time structure. Um, so after that we already have the current date and time in this object so we are going to declare a, a, a char buffer uh, so we can print a, a string with the current time and date. So we are going to use the sprintf function uh, it's a function that allows us to print uh, the content uh, we want on a char buffer. So we are going to print the from year to second um, the current date and time, and we are going to get each value from our current time object by calling the year method, which will return the year, the month method which will return the month, the day method, which will return the day, and so on until the second. So, and we have already uh, printed the current date and time uh, to our buffer. Finally, we are going to print it with the serial print, uh, serial, uh, to our serial interface with the println uh, method. Uh, and we are going to delay uh, one second between each uh, iteration of the loop. Well, finally, uh, just upload the code for the ASP8266 uh, and check the results in the serial connection. I've already uploaded the code for uh, my device, so I'm going to show you the output here in the serial connection. So, uh, serial monitor, sorry, my, my idea is in Portuguese because I'm from Portugal. Uh, just, okay, it's just here. It was already running for a while, so as you can see, uh, we are getting the current time and date um, every second, and this is the expected output of our program. So, uh, this ends uh, our uh, tutorial. Please check uh, the link below for my blog where you can get uh, copy and paste the, the full code, where you have the electronic schematic and explore uh, my blog a little bit because I have a lot of uh, other tutorials on the DS3231 and the ASP8266. Thank you for watching!